1985, amidst a context of the Cold War and the persistent challenges of racism, homophobia, poverty, the environmental crisis, and economic disparity, a church makes a bold proclamation toward a more hopeful future. What do we want? Peace! When do we want it? Now! A vision grounded in shalom, peace with justice, making the audacious claim that peace is possible. 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 At the 15th General Synod in 1985, the United Church of Christ became the first Christian denomination to declare itself a just peace church. It defined just peace as the vision of shalom, linking peace and justice, calling for the interrelation of friendship, justice, and common security from violence. UCC President Robert V. Moss wrote we now need to put as much effort into defining a just peace as we have done in the past in defining a just war. Churches across the country went through a process of discernment to declare themselves just peace churches. Scholars, activists, and theologians began to develop the just peace paradigm and 10 just peacemaking practices. Over the past 30 years, the just peace paradigm has been affirmed by ecumenical and interfaith partners. In 2013, just peace was affirmed by the World Council of Churches, which issued a statement on the way of just peace and called on churches to join a pilgrimage of justice and peace calling on churches to work for just peace in the community so that all may live free from fear. Just peace with the earth so that life is sustained. Just peace in the marketplace so that all may live with dignity. Just peace among the nations so that human lives are protected. Arise, O oh Lord, lift up your hands. Hands up, don't shoot. In 2015, we mark the 30th anniversary of the Just Peace pronouncement, calling on all settings of the United Church of Christ to renew our commitment to just peace and declare in a new time, amidst new challenges, our belief that peace is possible. To be a just peace church, is a rich and expansive faith mandate based in scripture and resonant in God's unfolding history, ever more connected between the global and the local, the corporate and the individual. The pressing issues of our world may change, but the need to work actively for peace does not. God's peace, shalom, lies at the unity of justice and peace in the world. An enduring commitment to this principle affirms to the world that peace is possible. Indeed, it is the only way that peace is possible.